people's lives. Yeah. You're making a difference in your lives, yes? Yes. Yeah. So when you go and you talk to senators and representatives, you tell them, when I go to the school-based health center, when I go to the health clinic, I'm able to get the service and support that I need so I can be healthy, right? I'm only as effective as a state senator as your leadership and your advocacy. Are you with me? Yeah. So it's so important that you came down here today because not everybody comes down here. You get the government you deserve. You get the government that you seek to get based on your participation. My health center is really important to me, obviously, because I've known these people since I've grown up. There's 300 people in my school. There's literally like a really tight-knit community. I've known my nurse and everyone since kindergarten, preschool, and I'm really familiar with them. I trust them. I feel comfortable with them. I go to them with any problem. The whole part about the minimum wage increasing is giving you an opportunity to make sure you're able to take care of yourself, take care of your family, save money for college, pay bills, right? Yeah. There are people who work in two or three jobs and are living in poverty. And that's not right. I'm 14. I'm going to be working in two years. I don't want to be 14 working all these hours and only getting 725. 625, 825. I understand I'm young. Yeah, I'm young. But what about the adults who have all these kids? I want to see a change in that. I'd like minimum wage to go up and people not to have to work as hard and struggle half as much as they do right now.